Greetings and salutations, everyone. We're back. Gotta get my eye back in for aiming this and whatnot. Figure out what I'm supposed to do here. I don't hear. Yes, got it. I have morph ball yet. It's a problem. Would love to have the morph ball back. That's a good friend. There we go. I gotta shoot all those guys down because they are quite bothersome. Okay, I've got that guy scanned, and that's important. Make sure I got I need that. There we go. Once again, we go back to the shooting McShooters. I also need to save my missiles, just some of them. Here we go. So as we all know, I love my missiles. If you ever see me play random, uh, randomized Metroid Prime, you know the one thing I don't want to see is missile upgrades. Sadly, we need to collect the missile upgrades to get 100%. Such is the way of life. So good news, there's Morph Ball. Bad news, it's guarded. There's always basically two beetles that love to charge pretty much right off the bat. Jumping backwards seems to increase your longevity. Here, yeah. alright. There's just a thousand of these critters, by the way. You just gotta shoot them all down. Once you see them stop spawning, you're like, okay, we're getting... making progress once more. Alright. So we got this big old beetle here, which I'm gonna need to scan so I don't forget it later on. Trying to get 100% items I'm more confident about. 100% scans, not as confident if I'm being... Okay. So usually I just try to go for the attack right off the bat. But now I need to do all these scan scans. Jump sideways. There we go. Thank goodness I can still do fast missiles here. Here we go. Grab the old Marty morph ball so we can go into tight corridors. And in some cases, it's actually better to travel as a morph ball. Here, it's necessary just to get out of this little arena. Here we go. Just roll on through. Yes. No. Yes. All right. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Got to be careful about coming out of the morph ball thing here because you want to make sure that you're still aiming basically where the center of the screen is so you don't do what I do there and you just look straight down. Now, I believe I need to go this way? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember if I need to. Need's a strong word. It wouldn't be bad to go this way, I'll tell you that much. So, this is where this is where you, you get to watch as a man tries to comprehend, like, what he's supposed to do in the game versus what he usually does uh, in the randomizer at this point, if he goes into that room. It's very, it's a little confusing. Which is weird, because you'd think that, oh, you just do the same thing every single time. No. No, you don't. I can tell you that much. But we're gonna go back through this way. And just start a little things here and there. Get everything as needed. Because there are, there's a couple things we can do. Some nice nice things that we can just get done. Okay, I can't scan blue doors. I was curious about that, actually. So there's our ship. Good, I did scan that. Right behind the ship, there's this little tiny cave. Pick up just a missile expansion. So, I might as well take a little bit of time uh, explain sort of the fast fire missiles that you can do. So normally, if you just try to spam missiles out, it takes a while. However, if you if you press the A button after you fire a missile, your gun goes back to its default state so that you can fire normal beams. If you manage to do a quick press like that of switching missile button, fire button, missile button, you can fire missiles a lot faster as a result. Very useful Metroid Prime 1 feature right there. Don't know if it's actually useful in the other ones, but that's something I learned from playing and watching like the randomizers was all that stuff. 
the impact crater. It's going to be important to know that this is here because it's about to be important in like hours later. But there is, of course, things we can do like scan this lore. Gotta get the pirate data. Go through the door here. There's another door. So it's important to know that this door can take a while to load. It actually loads up like a pretty big area Sp uh, like skybox and everything but there's also some lore here we're gonna need to pick up add it to our bank and whatnot a lot of the lore and whatnot is all extra as it were i don't think i yeah i don't need to scan that do need to collect it though the chozo artifacts yes Artifact of Truth. So it shows you, brings you back here. You can see I've collected 6% items and got 15% logbook scans. There's another time we'll need to come back here just to pick up some of the lore and whatnot. I don't think all of this is unlocked the first time around. Nope, it's not. Uh, in, uh, in the logbook, these, uh, uh, these logs will tell you where artifacts are at. That one I already have. So we're just gonna grab these while we're here. I don't necessarily need them, but they will be important because we have to go collect these. As long as we've got all the ones we can do, it'll be fine. I actually don't know off the top of my head when all of those get unlocked, but most do become unlocked at this point. And then you just gotta figure out when to come back here so that you can scan the rest. Easy peasy. We're gonna try to not collect the artifacts uh, till later on anyway, once we've got all the upgrades. I know you can pick some of the artifacts up along the way, but practically uh, you either need to collect everything beforehand and then pick it up before you beat the last I guess required boss, I guess you could say. It's a little weird to explain that. I'm actually going to take the heal while I'm here and the refill and all that. I'm going to just jump up while I'm on the ship here. Perfect. But we're going to try to do the artifacts in one go, essentially. We're not going to... We're not going to try to pick to go out of our way to pick them up. And a lot of them are out of the way. Expecting you to require to have different, different things and whatnot. I'm gonna just back through here. The, the interesting part is like, I know, like from playing like the randomizer so often and playing this game so often, I pretty much know where all item locations are at in the game. What I don't remember is where the artifacts are supposed to be in the game. Like I know, there's a couple I know off the top of my head. I'm like, right, I know there's an artifact there. But I don't know exactly where they're supposed to be at. I'm like, oh, I always go to this room for an item here and all of that. But we might pick some up by accident. So that's quite a possibility that I'll be like, oh, I know there's an item in there. Turns out it's an artifact. That is something that very likely can happen. Here I'll just go on through here. Jump up and around. I don't have double jump, which I would love to have, actually. So we've got to take this path all the way around. Have I scanned wasps? I have indeed. Have I scanned the nests? That's important. Okay, good. There we go. See, when you haven't played in a while, you have to ask yourself these questions. Like, have I done this? Or have I done that? Okay, wiggle my way through that. Perfect. Alright. I got those guys. Yes, plasmats. More lore. I, this will be the hard part. Remembering that there's lore in a room. Because I don't ever need to collect uh, lore in the randomizer. So I haven't done that in so long. But they do exist. Just gotta keep my... Try to keep my eye out for that. There we go go through blast the doors 
Alright, Vine, pretty certain. Haven't scammed you guys yet. They have a little weak spot. It's like an eye where the blade is at. It's a little confusing. There you go. There's Venom Weeds, which I believe we can scan as well. Alright, I guess not those ones, maybe. And the other ones are pretty high up there. This is just telling me about buildings and whatnot, or the tree. Why would I care about trees? They're only in my way. Then we go my way through. Am I doing? Yeah, I'm doing okay on time, actually. Alright. Scan poisonous mushrooms? Blast caps, as they call them. I need to go this way. Well, this will be important. Not now, little guys. Alright, grab more missiles. Oh, for the first boss, I actually would like to have 20 missiles. Technically, I could survive on 15, but it's it cuts it pretty close, honestly. Alright, so this is a little, I guess, puzzle room, for lack of a better word. There's these runic symbols we need to go scan. So that we can activate a door. There we go. You gotta know where these are at beforehand, pretty much. So that way you're like, alright, you could just do this in one fell swoop and be done with that. There we go, scan land. And then we got lore, I see you. The Chosen Lore R looks like that, like little walls that glow kind of deal. And they're only in Chozo Ruins, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head. So that's the good news. Pirate data is always going to be associated where pirates are at. So there is some sort of continuity as to where lore can be found and picked up. And this here is like a tutorial showing you you can use the charge beam to destroy these eye beams. Very nice. It's not necessary, you could just roll through it. You, you obviously run the risk of getting hurt and whatnot, but tiny details. Having the charge beam is useful. Like, you'll just see me sit here, use it all the time on everything. This is so, such a nice thing. The charge beam, it deals more damage and essentially has a bigger splash radius, for lack of a better word. I thought there was actually going to be shriek bats there, but I guess, I guess it's fine if we don't technically leave that room yet. Gonna take this little save. Definitely need a little pick-me-up there. It'll be fine. I can do it. I can do it, because we've got a little mini boss fight. And in case everything goes wrong, we'll just... can easily just go back here. But there are Shriek Bats up there. It's important to know that. Every time you look... It, like, that's one of the worst saving spots, just because you immediately have to deal with stuff like that. Something you probably don't see too often. In, my, in the streams I've done with Randomizer, using the charge beam to pick stuff up, mostly because I don't have the the charge beam. This is a rare commodity for me these days. Okay, and that didn't work. Of course, there's a little thing there. Get the jumps just right. So that was all worthless endeavor. But you can use the charge beam to pick up precious items that are just out of reach. Very useful feature, let me tell you. I know there's more behind me. There we go. Much better. I'm gonna have to charge again because there's gonna be more Shriek Bats. Alright. Have I even scanned? Yes, okay. I'd rather just stun him just to get my way through that. I'm pretty certain I got Shriek Bats too while I was at it. I have not. I am not indeed, good sir. That was a bit... Alright, I can also scan those. I want to scan this toad real quickly here. I want to make sure we've got that. I do need to scan pickups. Like the energy or whatnot. So many things to scan. Right, I don't have... I don't have bombs. I'm used to coming to this boss once I have the bombs. The irony being that... Here in the vanilla game, this guy will drop the bombs once I've defeated him. Scan him. Beautiful. It tells me there's things... I don't think... Yeah, we can scan the hive. 
There we go. We wait here. I don't know if these bees are actually different. They're color different. So I have to scan those too. Bosses are a one and done deal. Like you need to make sure you grab those if you're going for the the hundred percent scans. Nope, nope. Don't burn me. Okay, all right. Yes, it's a bad spot for. You don't want the his weak spot to be lined up directly with his flames. It's always a bad, bad thing to work out. This guy is pretty much as random as it gets as far as like when he displays his weak spots. So that's just how that is. Oh, dang it! Tried locking on and firing a missile in quick succession. Did not work out for me. Nope, I'm going to be right in the path there. So, one way in the GameCube version, I should mention, uh, in one way the GameCube is... Okay, alright. In one way the GameCube version is easier because you have like a little, I guess, auto-aim with stuff that's near. I need to scan that thing, by the way. It's a big missile drop. D gives you 15, I think? No. Nope. I could have sworn that was a big one and not the usual one. Anyway, but there's like an auto aim when enemies are near the reticle of it, and it'll just it'll sh shoot anywhere near the reticle. Here, because we have uh, manual aiming, as it were, it's a little bit you you don't have that feature anymore. You just uh, do all the you just have to manually do the aim, so it can be a little bit difficult. In that regard, otherwise, it works out pretty well. So we have the bombs now. We can do multiple things with the bombs. They can uh, blast open certain things and whatnot. They can also propel us into the air so that we can get up inside like the uh, these tubes and whatnot, little uh, places above the ground. But you can also, in the Wii version, when you get the bombs, you get the spring ball function, which allows you to make these one little jumps without having to actually use the bombs. It saves a little bit of time, not like a ridiculous amount. Plus it can also be fun just to roll around and jumping around without having to use uh, the bombs to do that. Just little extra things. See, you just, nope. See, normally I would, after going out of that tunnel, I would morph out of the morph ball so I can jump over that lip and get to that. But, because I can just jump my way over and morph ball, it's a little bit easier. Stop it. You would not like to be hugged today, Shriek Bats. It's not necessary. So we'll go back in here. Normally I also need the, the bombs to also propel myself up into the air just to get into those bomb slots, but... Again, you can just jump your way to freedom. That's such a good way to go about life. I feel like this is all what we need. The ability to roll into a ball and be able to jump still. Those tiny, tiny little things in life that would be useful. Bombs can also be used to help open up doors and whatnot. Very useful. Since Morphal's pretty good at traveling over distances. Faster than, than running, I can tell you that much. Wiggle my way through. Grab that energy tank there. Was perfect. Alright, I'm so used to doing bomb jumps, like doing the randomizer. And since the randomizer is based on the GameCube version, I have to stay with you know, I'm I'm stuck with what's what what's what you know what I've got in there. So there's a lot of things I'll probably do out of sheer habit. I'm just like, yes, this is how I always do it in the randomizer. There we go. So now we're gonna work our way back. You can, if you want a little safer journey, you can, uh, you can bomb through that tunnel there. It's not necessary. You can just walk over, go back the way you came, kind of deal. All right, here we go. Just take a little, little detour right here, and I think I will save here. Got a couple things left to do. 
some pickups and whatnot. But we've got we got another boss fight upcoming, so we want to make sure we're ready for that. That's important. But I will call it quits here. This is actually not too bad on the timing. But this is all good stuff. We can, by the way, you can go up into this area where the bombs are at, but there's another upgrade we need uh, to reach because there's actually two upgrades in that room specifically. And we need another upgrade to actually get it, so we're going to hold off going back up there. But that is optional. That's If you want to go collect, I think it's missiles in there. Could be wrong. But if you need more of those for whatever reason, you can go back and grab those. But just, that's neither here nor there. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day today, and I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.